Hello and welcome to this month's market report. I am Brad Dohack with Gulf Point Properties and I'm here to give you the end of October, what's going on in Southwest Florida. Here are the top three things that you need to know what's going on in the real estate market. But before I get into that, you know, this past weekend I was in a real estate conference in Orlando and actually had the family come up and meet me. It's a really nice time. We got to go to Disney. And as part of that, we saw some of Mickey's not so scary Halloween. That's exactly what we're gonna to report today. Not so scary real estate statistics on the day before Halloween. So here we go. Number one thing that you need to know, closed sales. Unbelievable numbers. So this September over last September in both Collier and Lee County, we saw between a 15 and 16% year over year increase in the amount of sales. So 16% higher sales than we did last year. This is only for single family. Interestingly enough, condos and townhomes are flat. No more closed sales, same number as last year. Number two that you need to know, the time to contract. That is up 57%. So what does that mean for you? Depends on what you're looking to do. If you're a home seller, you can expect the home to go to be on the market for 57% longer before you get a contract than last year. And so if you're in Collier County, that's at 110 days now. Lee County is at 81 days or 80 days right now. So that is taking substantially longer in general to bring a contract. The number three thing that you need to know is that the inventory, so what is available for sale, is down 8%. So there are less options out there. It's taking longer to sell, but more are selling. So it's kind of interesting. We've got conflicting, this middle stat here, the time to contract is a bit conflicting because we have the inventory going down and Lee County it's about four and a half months of inventory and Collier County 6.6. .6. So usually that would mean we're heading into more of a seller's market. However, with this time to contract going longer, taking more time to sell, that tends to be in favor of buyer because we know as days on market grow, that means a buyer has more negotiating possibility and capability uh, for that particular property. So pricing overall, we're looking at about 3% year over year is what we saw an increase. But again, the closed sales, time to contract, and the inventory, those are your top three most important facts that you need to know. If you wanna talk how this affects you directly, you can reach out to me, Brad Dohack, Golf Point Properties. Talk soon.